Marksman deep hole markers. Uh, the reason I'm doing these reviews now is uh, some of my first videos, the Vito Pro Pack videos. Um, I went through briefly the sort of tools I use. Uh, the Grip It Marksman was one of the one of the items uh, featured in the bags. I did say in my earlier videos that I would do a, a quick review on those, so here it is. Yeah, so if you haven't seen these before, uh, these are basically the the grip it marksman. Uh, the idea being um, this is a canister of gas uh, and here contains uh, like you know a bright luminous green uh, chalk dust. Uh, this fits into the hole when you depress the, the canister it, it shoots a, a blast of gas you know and pushes the, the chalk out which then marks you know the surface down below. Um, yeah as I said I'll do a demonstration in a minute. Um, this is the, the standard version, which marks up to a depth of 45 millimeters or four and a half centimeters. Uh, so typically you would use, you know, this for, you know, a block of timber or something like this. So all you do is, as you can see, this, this is going to sit here into the hole and hopefully blast some chalk through the, that bottom hole there. So put it onto the surface that you're going to fix this wood to, get it in position and all you do is depress the, the gas canister like so, that's it, remove the wood, I don't know if you can see that but there's a, a small chalk mark there which you know is ideal. Um, okay so we then move on to, uh, this is the, the deep hole marker as they call it. Um, this, this is, these are best for anything from 45 millimeters up to 100 millimeters thick, uh, which is what I normally use this for. It's normally, uh, you know, four-inch uh, fence posts. Uh, if you're, you know, say you're fixing a fence post to the side of a, a garage or a wall, um, you need to, you know, get a, a fixing right through. Um, these are ideal for marking where you need to drill. Uh, I've got a, a three inch fence post here, um, just to do a quick demonstration, um, see the hole there, just a standard three inch post. So we'll aim for a, a mark around about here, uh, so we'll lay the post halfway there, again insert the marker, uh, quick quick depression of the gas canister, that's it, remove and hopefully you can see the the mark there. So if you can imagine that up against a wall, uh, a hard wall or something like that, same situation, just press, uh, remove it, uh, and that'll mark nicely. And I've actually got a video. Okay, so we just need to hold this relatively tight, somewhere about there. I'm use my favourite Grip It Marksman into the hole, push into the other hole, push. Release that, and you see the two dots there. Uh, that's the, the areas where we need to screw this to the wall. We're obviously going to have to use plugs here because it's a hollow, hollow part of the wall here. You'll see the depth of that clip there. So normally you can't get a, a marker pen or anything in there, so that's why we use this. Okay. Okay, another situation I would use these uh, <coughs> mostly is when I'm fitting, I do a lot of outs outside taps. And I usually use these sort of fittings. Um, you know, you drill them through the wall. You've probably all seen these before, the insert, and then you have to fix this plate to the wall. Uh, a lot of times in modern houses, it's harrowed walls. Uh, so it's, you know, pebble dash, rough cast, whatever you want to call it. And when you've got this sitting up against rough cast, you know, with all the little stones behind, it's quite difficult to get a, a true marking, you know, with a marker pen. Um, it tends to... I just find these easier, I find them more accurate, you know, just quickly bang, 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 um, take this out the hole obviously and then you get a, a really nice clear mark with the chalk, you know, in, in perfect circular lines no matter how rough the stones are, you know, so 
then you can get, you know, you can accurately, <clears throat> accurately put in your, your plugs and get these fixed to the wall. So that's what I use these for primarily. Um, another good thing about these is obviously the ch chalk. Um, you know when you're depressing the chalk, so if you're firing them onto plasterboard, and for whatever reason you make a mistake in a customer's house or, or your own house, whatever, you can just simply, you know, wipe the chalk off. You know, it's not it's not any ink or anything like that. So, no, they're really good, really handy. Um, this is one of my most favourite tools. You know, um, they're, you know, once you've used them, you just you find it hard to go to anything else. Yeah, so that's them. Grip it marksman. Um one hundred millimeter deep for this one, up to forty five millimeters deep for this one. Uh honestly great bits of kit. Um I've got loads of these I just carry in nearly every bag I own. Uh well I do, every bag I own. Uh toolboxes. I yeah, always always have these to hand, especially if you're out in wet conditions as well. Um you know these these deal with that if you've got a wet wall or whatever you know, mark the hole, the chalk tends to mark really well on wet surfaces. You know what it's like, if you try to use a sharpie or, you know, other marking sort of pens like that, it just, it's, it's difficult in wet conditions, but these, these are ideal. Yep, so it's a quick overview of the, the Grip It Marksman's. Um, as I've said, excellent, excellent bits of kit. Uh, I'll leave links in the description so you can uh, purchase one for yourself just to try it out. But honestly, once you once you try one of these and use them, you know, on a regular basis, <laughs> you'll be back for more. Honestly, um, just uh, just a great asset to have in the toolbox or the tool bag. Yep, so that's okay, those. Uh, as always, guys, um, thanks again for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like it, and uh, if you if you feel the the urge to subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Uh, I do. I will do, be doing a lot of videos like these going forward um, so if you're interested in the construction game the DIY game property development property renovations uh, please subscribe to my channel and I'll have a lot more a lot more items going forward okay thanks guys cheers <laughs>